So in today's uh, quick video, I wanted to do a tutorial of how to set up Valheim mods on Linux. As some people uh, may not know that you can actually, um, you know, set up uh, Valheim mods pretty, like basically the exact same as you can on Windows. Um, so the first thing you want to do, of course, is have, uh, you know, Valheim installed on your Steam. Uh, which for me, if you go to your library and you find Valheim, here's Valheim. Um, you want to use the Proton version of Valheim. As the the reason I say that you should use the Proton version is because there's a cursor issue on Valheim at the moment on the native version. So when you first install Valheim, um, you can actually launch it because there's a native port of it. Uh, but for some reason, there's some like cursor bug that's occurring on the Unity Unity uh, engine, and Valheim developers haven't uh, fixed it yet. So um, the fix for that is just to switch to the Proton version. And honestly, <laughs> if the Valheim developers somehow see this video, um, just stop supporting the native version because the Proton version works straight out of the gate, and there's like no issues that occur. I would say. <laughs> So after you switch to Proton, for me, I'm just going to use Proton um, 8.0-3. Um, you want to actually um, grab the, you want to grab the R2 Modman Plus uh, Manager, which is a mod manager that's um, similar. Here it is. Uh, a similar uh, mod manager to the Thunderstore uh, manager. It almost, it kind of looks identical, um, I would say. So you want to go do the uh, releases and you want to uh, select your your version of um, R2 Modman. Uh, for me, it's the .RPM. Um, they are going to support Flatpak at some point. There's an issue opened uh, for supporting it, but it was over, I think it's, it's over like two years old now. Um, so I don't know when the Flatpak version is, is coming. Um, you know, I sent a reply on the issue of it and no one's replied back. So, um, you know, and they haven't updated their launcher in like, you know, quite a while. So, um, for me, it's going to be the .RPM. If you're, you know, let's say, uh, you don't want to use a uh, .RPM or you, if you're on Ubuntu and you don't want to use .debian, you can use .app image, um, you know, app, app images is still a good um, package manager, uh, but you know, if you want a system one, you need to get the .rpm, the .deb, or the .pacman for, I'm guessing that's for Arch. So um, if you don't know how to install uh, .rpms, they're rather easy. Usually you just click on the .rpm and it will launch the um, store that you use by default. So for me, it's the GNOME software. Um, and you just want to click install, uh, type in your password because it's it's a system package, so it's going to need um, pseudo permissions to install. And after it's done installing, you just want to click open. Um, so now um, it's going to load it up. And I've already selected my Valheim as default. So usually when it comes up, it will come up with like a game library uh, with different uh, games that you can select to start modding because it's not... It's not just Valheim that is supported on R2 Mod Man. There's multiple um, other games that are supported. Uh, so me, you want to select a default profile. And as you can see here, I've already um, you know been using uh, this mod manager on uh, on Linux for Valheim because I, uh, I I've said in my previous videos I do run a um, small just um, server on my second PC for my friends to play. Um, so basically, you know, you'd go to the online section. And you can just start installing uh, mods. You know, if you don't know how to set up mods in Valheim, you need to grab the uh, Bepinix. I think it's called Bepinix pack. And this is like the one that basically like loads your mods so that your mods can actually work. Kind of like Minecraft Forge. Um, so you want to grab that and then you can basically just start fucking around with a bunch of different mods. And um, yeah, you, basically you want to uh, click start modded and um, it will launch Valheim from Steam for you. And as you can see here, um, if you want to know if your your actual like um, mods did load and Bepinix actually loaded, you just want to look at the top left, which would be running Bepinix, uh, this version, and then 14 plugins loaded. Um, which is means like there's 14 mods installed and then bottom right as well it's uh valheim uh, game will tell you that you know you're running a modded version you know if you ever have an issue it's not their problem um so basically after that's done <laughs> i have a very interesting name uh you know you just want to start using your mods and i'll show you just um some gameplay of my mods actually working and then as you can see here <clears throat> um to know if uh, the mods are actually working um, I have a couple mods uh, installed, one for like different uh, rarities of different weapons and 
close and then um you know these quick slots here as well and then i've got like a point system as well for attributes um and then a custom one for stamina and health um so yeah that's basically it for today's video i just want to do a really quick video of just like how to how to set up uh valheim mods on linux as some people may not know how to do it um i don't i don't think i've seen any other videos um or tutorials of how to set up mods on on valheim specifically um most of them are just windows uh based ones and no one mentions like r2 modman um because it's not that not really that popular um well like they usually will recommend like thunderstore uh which isn't supported on linux um so if you guys uh like this video you guys give it a like and um you know you can sub i don't really give a fuck to be honest <laughs> um comment down below if you guys had any issues and um yeah uh, thank you also for 400 subs i really do appreciate it um you know all the comments uh, i've been replying to to anyone that's been like you know needing help that's been uh, awesome to um you know help um so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace